Hey guys, this is Mark from Oceanolic. Uh, we haven't had a video online on YouTube for quite a while now, and so yeah, it's about time that we, we do something for you again. Um, today I'm going to, to show you very quickly how to connect a brand new Asus Poseidon Platinum GTX 980 graphics card to a custom water cooling loop. As you can see, I already prepared the, the water cooling loop with, with uh, the pump and uh, the reservoir as well as the radiator and the fans installed. So this is really going to be a, a quick run on uh, showing you how to, to put the fittings on the graphics card. Um, yeah, actually this is, this is the little beauty. That's the Poseidon Platinum from Asus. Really a nice car. And uh, yeah, as you as you might already know, the it's a, so some sort of a hybrid cooler, which actually combines uh, a direct CO2 air cooler, which is this part, uh, with a dense fin stack, uh, with water cooling option. You can see the inlet and the outlet up here, and also apparently the heat pipes from the air cooler. Um, there is a huge base plate down here, which gets in touch with um, the GPU, the memory, the VRM, so basically everything gets, uh, gets liquid cooled in the end. So yeah, let's show you how to connect the things. So when you receive the card, there are some like small fittings up here, which make sure that no dust or other stuff is making its way inside the the loop, so you remove these, they're really easy to remove, they're made from plastic so yeah, you put them aside and then uh, I personally really like these EK CSQ fittings um, they're actually half for half inch tubes and they're 3 quarter inch diameter in millimeters that's uh, 12.7 and 19 so inner diameter and outer diameter um, and the fact that they're this big makes it really easy to, to tighten them to, yeah, to the fittings on the card, which is what I'm going to do right now. So yeah, you take the fitting, you check if your, your O-ring fits like firmly, nicely. If that's the case, then you just put it on, you screw it. You, and it's really, with these, when, when the fittings are this big, it's, it's enough if you grip it firmly with your hand and just tighten it. With, with a little bit of force, but not too much, not too much. Don't, don't overdo it, it's really not necessary. So, yeah, there we go, that was the first fitting. Then we go with the second one. Uh, same procedure here, grip it firmly, tighten it, so, and done it is. So now we have the fittings mounted on the car. As you can see, these, these fittings are actually quite big. I mean, you could also go for like some, some with a 90 degrees angle, or with adapters that allow you to do a 90 degree angle. And when you have on a, when you have the card on the motherboard, you actually want to do that because um, you have the, the the CPU sitting kind of like here, and to have a nice like bow or arch going from from the VGA to the CPU, um, yeah, for that you need a 90 degree angle. Uh, yeah, and there we go with the. Now we can connect it to the to the custom loop. So basically, you need the, the compression fittings, you put it over the tube, which is like a little bit heavier in this case, because we have already been using this tube a few times. Uh, if the tube is brand new, then these slide in just like perfectly well. So that's also already the case. And then you put the tube on the fitting, and then you just tighten the compression fitting, screw it in and it's the same here, like firmly but you don't really need to apply a lot of force it's enough if you just like grip it nicely and then screw the stuff in and that's enough, there are not going to be any leaks especially also with these uh, thick rubber tubings, they, they do a very good job in insulating and making sure there are no leaks. So, yeah, as you can see, job already done. Uh, the card is attached to a custom loop. Uh, the only thing you need to do now is to, to bleed the system. And, uh, yeah, then you have your GTX 980 Poseidon from Asus in a custom loop. 
So yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope it was interesting. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. It would be highly appreciated. Thank you guys. See you next time.